Okay, welcome back to Automotive Adventures. Uh, today we're doing an oil change on the old Dodge. It's been a very long time since an oil change. More longer than I'd like to say. Probably pretty irresponsible in how long on my part. Uh, it's been probably around 4,000, 5,000 miles and a little under a year since because the transfer case broke. And I didn't drive it at all for probably six months. And finally got it fixed. I still haven't done an oil exchange ever since that happened. So today, we're going to be doing the oil exchange before it gets way too cold outside to do anything. It's already around 30-ish degrees here. So, got this done and be on my way. Okay. Opening up the hood. This is what it looks like underneath here. Do we have uh, ourselves one of them hanging lights? So, uh, first thing I'm going to do during this oil exchange, knowing that the oil has to leak from the engine out, all the old out oil out. We're going to take off the 710 cap here. I got two of them to take off, so we'll set that one on the battery, knowing it's for that side, and then come over here and we'll take off the other 710 cap. And just lay that one also by the battery here. And so now that the oil caps are off and it can leak out, I'm going to get underneath with a couple oil pans and uh, my camera and the uh, size for the, the oil drain plug. Okay, so... Now that we're underneath the car, vehicle, truck, gotta loosen up the oil drain plug, which is right there. It's already pretty bad, because... Oof, the, Since the oil hasn't been changed in so long, it's a mixture of oil and gas in my truck, which I'll admit, that's bad on my part, I never changed it, never took the time, which I probably should have, let's be honest. Get that oil drain plug out, see how much oil is left in it, I'm gonna go, a good amount, I keep adding, because it keeps burning. We're leaking out here. That's something I figured out. I was leaking oil down here because of how much gas was in my oil. Nothing I can really do about that. Ugh, I might take the ratchet away now and use my fingers. Ooh. Uh-oh. <laughs> We're not using the fingers, I just realized. It's quite on there. Okay, now I can probably use my fingers. Almost there, and we're there. Oof, the, that's, uh, it's lukewarm, boys. Okay, next up is, uh, once this all drains out, we'll have to take off the oil cap, or the oil filter. Okay, so next up is removing the oil filter. Uh, my truck's a Dakota, so there's not too much room in between the ground and the top, so we were able to do it from up here, which is fine. And my oil filter is right there. We already loosened it, and right underneath down there you can see the oil pan already. So I'm just going to go ahead and get in here. And see if I can't get the rest of Yep, there we go. Nice and easy. Oh, yum. Yum. All over my hand. Can't even loosen it the rest of the way. If I can. Oof. The... Oh, almost off. Oh. Oh, I dropped it. Then I'm going to try and uh, turn it upside down so it leaks. And the oil filter's off. Okay, so we got the old oil filter out. It was this one. Just dropped it down into the pan. No big deal. Doesn't really uh, affect anything there. It's good to have the old one out, and then we gotta compare sizes to try and make sure it's the right one. Something I tell you guys all to do. I uh, this time went with Fram because I know that Fram has that grip on the bottom, which will be useful for next time. Because this one we had to use a channel lock to get out, and I'd say they're about same in size, same exact. I and people uh, had bad reviews about the Fram, but I've liked them, and I've never had an issue with them before. Uh, had this oil filter just one day because it was cheaper at the place, but it turns out this one was cheaper now, so 
fine by me. So we're going to go ahead and plug this sucker back on, and I'll show you when that's done. Okay, so finally got it on. That was a pain in the rear, uh, huge rear, from the positioning of where it's at. Basically, it was cutting my hand, trying to get it on from the bottom. Uh, it was insanely hard to get on, even though apparently it's super easy from right here. My brother hand tightened it, and I'm going to trust him. Don't feel like I need to double check or anything, so... Now that the oil filter, the new one's on, now we got to go put the drain plug back in. So here's the uh, old oil. As you can see, it's kind of brown, milky-ish. Uh, you can probably tell at some point water got in, and then at another point there's a little bit of gas in it. So it's it's pretty uh, pretty diluted. It doesn't seem, you know, it's a little bit more runny than I'd like my oil to probably be. Normally oil's a little slug to it, and I feel like this is dipping my finger in warm water. So... Yeah, you should probably do your oil exchanges uh, better and quicker and faster than I did mine, you know, 4,000 miles like a year. So don't be irresponsible. Change your oil. Okay. Put that oil drain plug back in. Hand tighten for right now. And then the wrench is right here. Change directions. And tighten. Make sure to not to get any stuff on the threads. Sometimes that can cause sealant issues to get rocks or dirt on it. So keep that nice and clean when you first get it out. Then you're just going to want to make sure that your oil drain plug is oof, the hand tight. Get in there. And... Good. Song of the century, right there. Okay, so before you do anything again, you want to make sure to take off your Duke's tip and clean it. Mine was uh, pretty dirty and milky, and it likes to run up the entire length because of the delusion in it from water and oil. So clean off and put that sucker back in, and now we're going to uh, go ahead and pour the oil in. Okay, so now we're pouring in the new oil. That looks ten times better than the stuff that we pulled out of it, so... I want to make sure to try and not let it glug, get bubbles in there, which don't really matter, but it does matter when it starts filling up, so we're going to pour the entire container in there and then close off the plug, start it, let it run for a couple seconds, and then check the oil and add what else we need. But it's good to get new oil in there, because bad stuff, that's other stuff was gonky and nasty, so. Okay, and here's the other one. Make sure you just them on there and sink that tight and then uh, we'll give it a few seconds to let the oil sink in and then we'll start her and check the dipstick so now I'm gonna go ahead let the truck run for a couple seconds <laughs> copyright Okay, now, so, I'm gonna go ahead and check the dipstick. Okay, time to check the oil, see what it looks like after. Ran it for a little bit. Can't really see it, there we go. <laughs> and back out, what's it say? Bring it up to the camera, real nice and big. Yeah, you're in the safe zone, but we'll see check it? it one more time and then. Yep. See you got, David, you gotta wipe off the end. I did. Well, it's up to you. You want to keep it there? It's in the safe, in the middle of the safe zone. Oh, we'll add a little bit extra just to make sure. Okay, and now we're going to uh, add just a little bit extra oil just to make sure. Not too much, just a little bit more to make sure. Because I know my truck, and my truck will either leak it or burn it. So I'd say that's good for an oil additive. So now he's going to close that up for me. And now, check the rest of the oil. Put that in the box here. You can see I got some more right there. I think that's an empty one for if I ever need uh, more air to put up. Still have truck bed coating, not sponsored. Wish they would, as you can see from the truck. But 
torque wrench. All the stuff's here, so I'm gonna close this back up and lock it so that nobody can get in. Okay, close up the Dodge. And now time for the unfun part. Putting the old oil in the new container. Well, that sucked. We spilled some and we got it in there, but it always takes some time and that's the old oil and there's a place right down the street that takes oil to burn, so that's where that'll be going. Now it's time to back out the Dakota. Well, that does it for the Dodge Dakota oil exchange. It turned out pretty good and new oil is in there, which is awesome. It needed it really badly, so. If you ever need to know how to change oil, follow these steps for your make and model. Use the oil, I use 10W30 because I got a truck and it's winter around here, so. All good in the hood, and uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.